What's up guys, Louis Marco in the house, Luchu, whatever you are. I received a lot of question about um, a currently known actor that came into the scene and bursted into the scene lately, namely Thor, from the movie Thor and also from the movie Avengers, along the other um, superheroes, the Trojan, the, the bad uh, villain, aliens and whatnot. A lot of you are asking me, bro, what do you think? Is he natural? How come he, you know, he gained that amount of muscle in a short amount of time? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Because, yeah, there are certain pictures of him, as you guys can see, when he was quite uh, thin, to say the least. He was, you know, looking fit. However, he was not as huge as he is right now. Uh, the proper answer, I don't know. And I don't care. And so sh should you. I mean, you should not care about a an actor. One thing you need to be sure of, this dude is making shiploads of money. And it is up to him to take that decision to go the further step if he wants to adv advance his career. I'm not condoning anything here. It is his personal choice. And if he has made that choice, one thing you guys need to be sure of, he is definitely followed by a battery of specialists in that field, right? If he has chosen uh, that path, and if it is so, I will not judge him right so it is his personal choice i will refer you though to an article um, at the bottom of this uh, video uh, which is in people magazine when he spoke to um, a very known uh, fitness magazine namely men's health and he told them something that i'm sorry personally i do not buy he said uh, you know about his uh, gaining 20 pounds i feel as uh, i've been busy but but all i've been doing is eating all day Eating when you're not hungry and taking that amount of food is exhausting. So personally, I'm sorry, I do not buy into that because it is not the amount of food that he ate that basically made him gain that tremendous uh, amount of muscle lately. So that's that. Uh, yeah, so that's my final answer. However, uh, what I can uh, truthfully say that I don't know him personally, but I probably know his sister. Right, because four, that's right, has a sister. So that's my uh, clear answer about it. Let me get into my serious business, which I know, and that I know it is good, and I can back it up. Namely, a meal example. And by the way, this meal example is pretty much an invention of myself. Never been invented as far as I know. So I want to show it to you right away without any delay. Let's get right into it in HD. There we go. Okay, so here is a tortilla, right from Mexico, baby. Salute you Mexican guys even though you're basically sending us some some good stuff, if I might say so. So yeah, so tortilla here, it is whole wheat. I got a, a grilled chicken, which you guys probably cannot see because it is underneath a melty cheese. I'll go to that uh, detail a little bit later. Underneath that whole thing is, let's see, if we can approach it this way maybe. So underneath that melty cheese, there is some salsa, right? So it is, um, not hot, but it is a mild salsa. It is my taste. Uh, yeah, that's that. And over here, of course, you get your green lettuce and some green beans, which has been basically... Um, um, no, they're not uh, grilled, but they are what we call steamed, right? So that's that. A huge grilled um, chicken, as I said. I'm going to show you the cheese, because you guys probably are asking yourself what kind of cheese Louis Marco consumes. And there you have it in English and French. So fat-free, Songa, right? It is a uh, Swiss. There are tons of kinds. You can buy mozzarella. You can buy any kind of, of this kind of cheese and they're all fat-free. And the um, nutrition fact are really, really interesting, guys. Look at that. You got zero grams of fat, right, per one slice. And you got a whooping five grams of protein. So right there, I, I've put uh, three slices already. So just that, it is 15 grams of protein on top of the grilled chicken, which has an excess of 40, at least. When it comes to the uh, tortillas, regular ones you can buy from, you know, your convenience store. Okay, when it comes to the uh, caloric uh, information and nutrition value, uh, each one has 4.5 grams of fat, so it's all good. And again, another 5 grams of protein. So that's that, guys. A very simple, you know, summer meal example that I made in, you know, a few minutes. 
and you wrap it up and enjoy it. It is a not not even a fajita, right? So this is a fajita made by Louis Michael style. Salute you, whatever you are. I also salute Thor, of course.